Alrighty, so what I got going on today is I'm um, going to be converting my uh, lawn roller over from a pin hitch over to a ball coupler. Um, <clears throat> just about everything I own has a trailer ball on it, even our golf cart. So, <clears throat> um, roller's pretty big, it's pretty heavy, and uh, it just makes sense that, you know, this way I can pull it with, you know, anything I want. So and universally it just makes it so much easier you're not keeping track of the pin and trying to line up a pin hole to you know when it's a <clears throat> thousand pound roller and you're trying to get it lined up so that you can get the pin in it it's so much easier to you know put a, uh, a cupper on the ball so I'll uh, give you a little look at what I'm doing here <clears throat> um, so this is my setup <clears throat> and in the past I've just put this big eyelet on the side there and and that's what I was pulling that on um, but uh, so I came up with a few things <clears throat> so uh, this right here is going to take the place of the piece that's in, already in there um, <clears throat> and I'll give you a little bit better look at that here in just uh, just a few minutes but um, that's my plan is just to remove the the center piece and uh, install the piece that I made and then attach the ball coupler to the piece that I made. So um, I'm going to get some tools and get after it here. Tools and uh, I'm going to get this uh, <clears throat> factory piece taken out and uh, install the piece I made. I'll go over that piece a little bit here. Uh, it's just a scrap piece of uh, two inch tubing. Um, I actually didn't cut that. I had a piece just that size, um, <clears throat> or I probably would have made it the full length of this. Anyways, um, this was a piece of half inch by uh, uh, four inch by six inch piece that I had laying around. This was something left over from building the uh, side cutter on the on the Kubota. And <clears throat> looking back on it, I probably could have just cut a piece off and put this piece on the bottom of the tubing but whatever I was thinking at the time I just put that on here so that the <clears throat> this will go between the tubes on the lawn roller this is going to sit on top and then the coupling is going to bolt to this and hopefully I've measured and pre-drilled the holes the way they're supposed to be so we're going to get it put on and see what happens Yeah, <clears throat> I don't have a very good place to work here. Okay, half inch. Need to get my <clears throat> outdoor workbench cleared off, but as you can see, I've got it uh, laying with parts that I, uh, my wheel assembly that I built years ago from my back blade, which is just uh, I mean, it's just priceless how well that works. Um, I decided to uh, make new parts and beef it up, so that's why the back blade's just sitting here, kind of stripped down right now. Um, <clears throat> I use that so much that I just, you just can't imagine, anybody that's ever used a back blade knows that, you know, you just drag them along the ground and it, it, they're terrible but you put a set of wheels on them and now um, they won't just follow the ground they'll take the high spots off drop the extra material in the low spots I mean they'll actually level ground and this all started out with me wanting to come up with a way to plow snow in the winter without tearing tearing the yards up so alright let's see what we got going on here I don't know that I had to take them out, but instead of taking these bolts out, I thought I could just slip this out the end. <clears throat> we'll see if that's true. Yep, there we go. Just like so. Alright, I'll hang on to that um, in case there's a reason I'd ever want to go back to it, I guess. So let's, uh, let's see if I can get my piece that I made put into it. 
get a bolt ready here. Hopefully I can reuse these same bolts. close. Might have to ream the holes out with a drill bit a little bit here. Let's see if I can get through. Oh, oh it is so close. Guess I should have oversized them holes a little bit more. Let's see if I can get it to go. on it and booger up the threads. Let's see what the second bolt looks like before I get the drill bit out. And <clears throat> well, oh, it's close to. Wow. There it is. If I can get this one started a little bit. Nice. Oh, looks like this one's going to go now. There we go. Beautiful. Now we'll tighten it up and see what we got. Draw it in here until the Tubes are nice and tight on either side of the bracket. Ah, ah, I guess I could have used longer bolts. I tried to measure that the other day with a tape measure and I thought it was a half inch space, but it looks like it probably I'm just barely getting into the nylon on the nine on these uh, nine nuts, these shake proof nuts, so I may have to pick up some longer bolts and put on there, but it certainly isn't going to go anywhere. All right, now for the coupling, and I know it's going to, I, those are 3 8 bolts, so let's uh, switch out here. <clears throat> Planning on putting this baby to use here shortly. Um, now's the time to get after the yards while you can manipulate them and get them flattened out a little bit. I actually just picked up the uh, picked up the oil in the filter to do the, the oil change in this, and uh, getting to be that time of year. Oh, let's see if I did this right too. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Boy, that's going to make things nice. That way, if I need to move this around, I don't, you know, I can put it on anything I have that's got a, a ball coupler. I think the only thing I have left that doesn't have a ball coupler is my uh, my pull behind uh, fertilizer spreader. And for all the more I use it, yeah, no biggie. So I'm going to tighten these bolts up. We're going to give it a try. May have to adjust the coupler. A lot of people don't realize that <clears throat> by loosening and tightening this nut right here, you can adjust how tight the uh, the clamp is when you that's open. Slip it on your ball when you tighten it down. But if this distance in here is too tight, you can back this nut off a little bit and get a better fit. 
I mean, you want it as snug as possible just because, you know, if it's too loose, obviously it can come off the ball, so. Oh boy, everybody's active. Talking up a storm today. put on the ball here and see if I need to adjust the coupling and if I do I'll show you how I do that Let me set these tools over here oh ah, yeah this thing is so heavy Clamped on okay. Almost no slop up and down. That's perfect. I don't need to adjust it at all. So that's the end result of converting my lawn roller over to uh, from a pin drawn hitch to a ball coupler. So I don't know if this has been helpful to anybody, but if you've been thinking about doing the same thing, maybe it gives you some ideas on how you could do it too. Okay, so anyways. Um, try to bring you some more little tidbit videos like this in the future. I, I do so much of this stuff all the time and I just never think to get the camera out and, and video it or, or anything. So, but, um, you know, there was a, a quick little project that, uh, you know, hopefully it'll help somebody else out. All right. Hey, we'll see you later.